first uh, is Patricia Resnick, who wrote the original screenplay to 9 to 5. She also wrote this, uh, the libretto to 9 to 5 the musical. And the second is uh, the composer of 9 to 5. She's also a Kennedy Center honoree, a Grammy Award winning artist, Academy Award nominated songwriter, and an overall American and music legend, and that would be Miss Dolly Parton. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> somebody asked me if I'd ever had a nine-to-five job. I said, yeah, I've, been, I've had a nine-to-five job for 30 years now. <laughs> but we've actually been working on this particular thing for four and a half years. You have no idea how hard these people work. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is absolutely <laughs> insane, the hours, right? The hours they put in. and I mean, nine-to-five would be just a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Way back there in the back. Did you get any pressure to like update it all? I'm glad you didn't, because I like exactly as it is, keeping it real to the movie and the script. But did you ever get pressure for that? We we really there was really no pressure because the creative team was so small. You know, it really started out with Bob Greenblatt, the producer, and myself, and we talked really briefly about um, you know whether there would be any real good reason to update it. And we just felt that it, it worked better in the time. And it also, um, you know, when I wrote it in 79, it was 79. And, and, and now we got the chance to kind of look back at that time. Um, and we felt we could get something out of that. We did make a lot of changes uh, from LA, where we did our out of town to here. Uh, because uh, until you get it in front of an audience, it's really hard to, you know, as much as you think this is working, this is working. You sit with an audience night after night and you really see and hear, you know, for me, um, since a lot of it's humor, I know right off the bat if it worked or it didn't work. They laugh or they don't laugh, but, you know, you can feel the pace. And so um, Dolly did some new songs for here and, and we did some changes and now we're down to the little the fine tuning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A challenge for you, uh, I know that you write mostly for yourself and other solo artists. Was it a challenge for you to write? such rousing uh, choral ensemble things? It was fun for me. I really got into that, and I enjoyed writing for all the different characters, and I especially enjoyed writing for Mr. Hart. <laughs> 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 I put on my manly self. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I had a lot of fun like trying to even sing it with his voice, and it, you'd, have, you'd have got a kick out of seeing me try to write his stuff. Good thing I was by myself. <laughs> uh, it was different than making records because when you write songs for records, you, you have to think about maybe doing like a verse and a chorus and a bridge and you try to keep it under three minutes so they'll play it on the radio. <laughs> but when I was writing for this, it gave me a lot of freedom. I have a question for you. Was it much of a challenge to adapt the screenplay to the stage? Um, each time I rewrote it, because writing is mostly rewriting, I, I was able to... Um, see it more and more as its own thing and, and not just trying to take the movie. We wanted to keep the parts of the movie that people really loved, but make it really a theatrical experience. And um, so I think each time I was able to, you know, to get farther and farther away from the movie and, and now you know, rewrite the musical, which I'm, I'm, I'm now really fond of. Would you ever consider playing Dora Lee on stage? No. Limited. <laughs> well, no, I, w I wish I could, because I told them, the last group of people we had here, I said, somebody asked ask if me and Lily and Jane you know, would consider playing it. I said, this movie is called 925, not 95. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, what was it like seeing somebody take on the role that you originated? Well, I think she's doing a great job. I, I would like to think I was ever that cute. <laughs> but she actually does a great job. She's not from the South at all. And she's just hung around me and kind of picked up the accent. She's a great actress. I'm sure most of you have seen her in other things. But I think she's doing a great job. I, I'm very proud of, of to say, oh, yeah, she's doing me. I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, sure. 
<laughs> but she does a great job. I'm very proud of her. Yeah. Yeah. And are they real? <laughs> are they real? <laughs> oh, are they real? <laughs> Mine or hers? <laughs> They're as real as hair on my head. No doubt, no doubt about yours, huh? <laughs> Well, they're real something, and, <laughs> and they're real expensive, and they're really nice. <laughs> uh, what else you want to know? <laughs> Not in front of everybody. <laughs> no, okay. I'll tell you one thing. At one point, we had so much on Megan, she couldn't stand up straight, so we had <laughs>